every city. A different world comes out when the sun goes down. The streets and avenues, the rail lines and the back alleys all become the domain of the gangs. In New York, the Bowery is run by the punks. Sheepshead Bay by the Satan's mothers. The Saracens have Bensonhurst and the Hurricanes claim East Harlem. 200 gangs rule New York City when the sun goes down, but only one ever went up against them all and lived. They come from Coney and they call themselves the Warriors. A street gang numbering some 120 members with many additional affiliates, the Warriors are recognized as a heavy outfit within the New York network. Their territorial claim over Coney Island is largely unchallenged and when traveling in their own colors, they are granted the rights of parley, permits, and other courtesies, even by rival gangs. Members of the Warriors can be recognized by their maroon waistcoats, and maroon in general is the gang's color. Beyond this, there is no standard dress code, though many members prefer to go shirtless. Others have incorporated Native American elements into their dress and internal culture, emphasizing the values of brotherhood and respect for a warrior spirit that are integral to the gang's identity. The title of Warlord is given to the leader of the gang with a favored lieutenant serving as a second in command. The remaining lieutenants each command groups of lesser members distributed across specific neighborhoods. In the event the Warlord is killed, his first lieutenant will take his place. When organized into war parties, these temporary groups of soldiers are led by a war chief. The rank structure of the warriors, like any gang, however, is fluid, with challenges of leadership common. Only by maintaining the respect of his peers can any member of the warriors retain their position. Within the network, the warriors are generally well regarded and agreements exist with the Saracens and the Gramercy Rifts, the largest gang in the city. The Warriors are believed to have been founded in the spring or early summer of 1978. During that time, Coney Island was under the control of the Destroyers, led by its increasingly erratic and drug addict warlord, Virgil. Driven by paranoia, he attempted to kill his own war chief, Cleon, who founded the Warriors in response. After a brutal gang war, the Warriors eventually drove the Destroyers out of Coney Island winning the respect of the New York network in the process. The newly formed gang found allies in the Saracens, while their graffiti, carried along the rail lines, spread word of their presence. The following year, the Warriors were among the hundred gangs that accepted an invitation by Cyrus, leader of the Gramercy Rifts, to a meeting of all the city's major players. Yet on the eve of what was to be his greatest triumph, a unification of all the city's gangs, Cyrus was assassinated and the warriors unfairly implicated in the act. Until dawn rose the next morning, the warriors were hunted by every gang in the city, rumbling with the orphans, the baseball furies, the lizzies and the punks on a mad dash back to Coney Island. They were finally cornered on the beaches of their own turf by the rogues only for both groups to be confronted by the Gramercy Rifts. Over the course of the Warriors' run back to Coney Island, the Rifts had learned that the Rogue's leader, Luther, was responsible for Cyrus's assassination. The Rogues were annihilated, and in recognition of their heroic stand against impossible odds, the Warriors earned the respect and friendship of the most powerful gang in the city. And while some among them might dream that something better must be out there, beyond the neon lights of the city, there is little pity to be found on the streets. When you're down, that's where you'll stay. The Templin Institute investigates the nations, factions, and organizations of alternate worlds. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to join the Templin Institute, consider pledging to our Patreon page. Along with increased security access, you'll be able to vote in polls to determine future topics, get custom wallpaper every week, and receive some other exclusive rewards.